Okay, I thought I'd give a quick update here. Found some very interesting little item that I want to pass along just in case some of you are going to build this and haven't acquired your tubes yet. Um, I was doing another experiment on a mixer circuit and uh, I needed to hook two tubes up in series and it necessitated finding two of them that ran the same filament current. Um, I hadn't yet tried this one tube uh, so the circuit that I was working with was a 6BE6 and I needed another tube that drew the same current uh, and it happened to be that I had several of these tubes called 6CB6's, six, 6 Charlie Baker 6. The tubes that I'm using that I showed you in the last video on this receiver were 6HB6's and the only real reason that I chose them is that they drew 0.15 milliamps in other words 100 and 150 milliamps of current per tube the 6BE6's and the 6CB6's both draw 300 mils or 0.3 amps uh, so I kinda neglected them for just because uh, the other tubes were easier on you know low current drain but uh, I hadn't thought yet about the gain of the tubes and this is interesting um, so here we go I've got it tuned in to the noontime net this is 7 uh, megahertz or 40 meters you can may touch okay now what I'm going to do is I'll change the two IF tubes and you listen to how much gain is improved when I change these out. them warm up. I may have to retouch. Now I'm not sure if the camera's audio will pick that up, but the receiver I'm using to listen to the IF output has actually got almost full meter reading now on the signal, whereas before it just barely was raising the needle. Anyhow, the point I'm making is there's a huge amount of gain, and like I say, these are 6 CB6s. You don't have to make any changes to the circuit at all. 
except that both tubes, well, the way I have it wired, both of these two tubes happen to be in series, so if you change one, you have to change the other so that the filament current matches up. But 6CB6, six, 6 Charlie Baker 6. They look a little bit different. They're, as far as the looks inside the tube, you can see there's a, you don't see the little metal shield. This is the 6HB or BH6. And uh, the 6CB6 doesn't have that little metal shell on the inside. A little bit different look to the tube, but they work a lot better with this low voltage. Now, another thing I found that this makes this receiver do now is I'll turn the volume back up here on the radio and let you see. Now, this yellow wire is running to my solar panel where I've got a little over 28, about 30 volts. I'm going to change, I'm going to disconnect it. This is the 12 volt filament line. A watch. I may have to retune because the oscillator is going to run different. There it is. So now the receiver is running actually on 12 volts. The filament and the play voltage is now at 12 volts. By changing those tubes out, I have enough gain that it'll actually run. Now, what I haven't done yet, I could change the RF amp and uh, to get more gain input, but I can hear them in the background. <clears throat> Had to change the tuning a little bit because of the voltage difference on the uh, 12 BE6 oscillator changed. What I'm going to do now, let's try that. That's the RF amp. And since I have that in series with the BFO, I'll have to change it too. Because these two tubes are also in series. See what happens. Hopefully, I haven't bothered the tuning.
somebody's tuning up in there. Not a whole lot of improvement there. But I thought it was interesting. Well, that, he didn't come in too bad. So anyhow, there's the receiver now <clears throat> fully running on 12 volt. So if that's something you want to play with to see if it'll work on a little bit lower voltage or just more gain, uh, when if you're going to build this, try to use the six CB6, six, six Charlie Baker six tubes. And uh, it's amazing. The, the first two that I changed in the IF section made the largest difference. Uh, the one in the RF amp didn't change so much. But it could be due to tuning. I don't have any way of retuning on this little simple board here, the, de the demonstration board. And um, we'll get around to looking at that more <clears throat> when I go to build, actually do the build on the receiver. I'm just getting re just about getting ready to do that. Uh, that's coming up soon here. Um, let's see, is that little chassis where I can grab it? <clears throat> yeah. Here it is. <clears throat> For those of you just, if this is the first video, what uh, I'm going to be building, I'll set that out of the way. <clears throat> this is going to be the chassis. This is going to be the main tuning, and this is these are the two uh, antenna and RF amp plate tuning caps that I was telling you I don't have any way of doing that on that little simple board but on this receiver or on this chassis this the RF amp will have tuned inputs and outputs so we'll be able to peak it a little bit to get better gain uh, don't have anything I'm just getting ready I'm putting some of the parts in place kinda to make the build go a little bit quicker this is gonna be the uh, BFO shift uh, or it may this may end up actually even having a product detector uh, which I'll get to on the when I get into the build and explain uh, RF gain little pot over here will be the RF gain control and that'll be the you can see that in the camera there on off switch BFO main tuning. I gotta find a, maybe a dial for that to, where I can mark it. But uh, and this can be made for other bands. You just have to change uh, the two antenna coil and the plate input coil and the tuning coil for the uh, main tuning. So just three coils to change, and you can put it on whatever band you want. And I'll get to that in the in the build. I'll. Uh, I already have the schematic um, lined up and several bands are already figured out uh, so if you want to get ahead on that send me an email and uh, I'll get that out to you okay find my 
in my sheet here. Oh, maybe I lost it. Where'd it go? Okay. <laughs> here we go. All right. And that'll be it for this bit. But I thought maybe if somebody was getting ready to, and you hadn't bought tubes yet, maybe you'd want to jump on it and uh, get those ordered. And so there's where you can contact me. Send me an email if you want one of those, uh, the schematics. And uh, I'll get them right out to you as quick as possible. Okay, thank you. Um, the next video to come out... Uh, going to talk about some test equipment. You'll need uh, some kind of a little signal source when you go to tune up uh, the receive, uh, the front end of the receiver. You'll need some kind of a local signal source so you can uh, get your coils uh, accurately wound and uh, adjusted. And uh, that little guy is coming up. This little thing will be the, the next video. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.